Hi, everybody. Welcome to the uh, 7 o'clock Fiddling Hangout. I'm doing these every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Anybody interested in learning the fiddle? Uh, we're going to be going through a piece today, um, how to play a certain song. Uh, the song is going to be a reel, actually. Um, it's called The Reel with the Burl. So I'm going to paste that into the um, chat here so you guys can get access to that sheet music. And that's kind of what we're going to be working on today. And I'm going to quick uh, say hello to everybody uh, and see how they're doing. So, hey, Marianne, how you doing? Welcome to the class. Good, good. Thank you. Good. Had a good week? Um, yes. I'm working on a, a hangman's reel. Okay. So this will help me. Any reel will. Right. I think so. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to do some ornamentation, some suggestions, and all that good stuff. So thanks for joining us. Awesome. Hey, Mary, how you doing? Uh, looks like there's two Marys here. I'll be Mary Ann. How's that? Mary Ann and Mary. I was, yeah, yeah. I was just talking to Mary Ann and uh, Mary, how you doing? Oh, you were talking to Mary, I think. Yes. How you doing, Mary? <laughs> How are right. you? Oh, you were talking to me. I'm Mary. Yes. She's Marianne. <laughs> yes. How are, you, how are you doing? Which one do you want? <laughs> Mary. 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 Okay. Oh, I thought you, I just told you. Oh, that was just, I was just talking to you. I thought that was Marianne. I'm, see, I'm, I'm the one that's yep. confused over here. Yep. <laughs> confused. Okay. Sorry about that. Marianne, how are you doing? I'm good. good. Thanks for coming doing on. Good. I hope I'm not wearing out my welcome here. So. No, not at all. <laughs> See me in different places. Not at all. Glad you're on. Um, so you're a teacher um, and I've uh, been playing for quite a while and interested in fiddle, correct? Yes. Yes, I've been playing fiddle. I've been jamming with the uh, Nashville Old Time String Band, actually. Awesome. Did you go to Michigan? I see you have a Michigan shirt on. I'm a fan. I'm, I did not go there. I went to Western Michigan, though. Oh, I went to Michigan. Did you? Doing oh. My undergrad, yes. Very cool. Yeah, I, um, yeah. I like the Wolverines over the Spartans, for sure. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to cheer for Western because, yeah, they're not good at much of anything. So that's where I stand. So thank you for joining anyway, us. I have, my, I have my splint off my finger, so I can oh, you start do. playing. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I just see that. I don't know if I can play very well, but we'll see. Awesome. Hey, Val, how you doing? Uh, Welcome to the class. Doing fine. Um, I'm just sort of uh, lurking in the background here. I've, I've, uh, my um, instructor has got me doing a couple of things in fiddle. I just want to see what tips you have. Sounds great. Thanks for joining us. All right, so um, the piece should be available here if you're watching this after the fact um, in the YouTube description um, as far as the reel with the burl. So I'm going to be helping you guys do that today and writing in some different ornamentations and such. So I uh, refer to that as um, we are doing this class. So I will be sharing my screen so we can kind of take you guys through the piece. So I'm going to do that here. Share screen. This one will do it. All right. Um, can you guys raise your hands real quick if you guys can see my sheet music on the screen? Good. Okay. So basically, um, we're going to be taking you guys through this piece. And um, the biggest thing with learning any fiddle tunes is, you know, understanding that we want to add in, you know, bowings. We want to add in ornamentations and not just play the piece necessarily the way it's written. But to start, I will play it the way it's written. And then we're going to add in some different things like sliding, some grace notes, and some different things, some bowings to kind of add it um, to make it sound even better. So here's the piece without any sort of add ons. <laughs> Thank you. 
so that was it without any sort of slurs, slides, or grace notes. So what I recommend, um, let's first put in the Boeings of, you know, some different things we can do. There we go, got to get my pen out here. A little bit thicker size here. There we go. Okay, so um, I recommend starting ba 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 bum ba bum. Basically, let's do it for every four eighth notes in a, in a combo. Let's slur the first two. So I'm gonna have you guys do that. I'm going to slur here. Here. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but it's kind of just the way I'm going to start. I'm also going to put some slides in. But let's start with the bowling. So this time I'm going to put in the slurs. You guys want to play along with me? I put the slurs in and definitely a really good place to slide is going to be somewhere like here so for this note here I want you guys to start off below the pitch and slide into that G natural that would be a good place to slide anytime there's a longer note I think that's a good place to slide so I'm basically indicating that by this mark here so I'm gonna slide on that note I'm gonna slide on some of the quarter notes Like that, it's gonna make it sound even better. All right, so I'm gonna put in the slides this time. So that time has some sliding. And then um, also what we can do in a piece like this is add down sliding. <clears throat> um, anytime there's a first finger, there's definitely some good opportunities to down slide, which is basically where we take the note and we bring it down in pitch back down to where basically where the open string is. So I'll show you guys some spots where we can do that. I mark that in this way. So this can be a down slide. Oh, I'm trying to do it with the other hand here. Oh, come on. Can I put my violin down really? So down slide right here. Good spot. Uh, second line. There is a good spot. Down slide there. All right here's another one. Tell there's first fingers like to do it. Uh, here's a third line. Another spot there. slide here and then down slide here all right so let's try all that so so far we have uh, Boeing's we have slides we have down slides 
and then we'll add in some more. We'll do accents and grace notes, but this is with what I have so far. Next thing I want to add in is accents based on the style. So the, uh, anytime we have a reel, we want to basically accent beats two and four. So beats two and four are going to be here, we're going to be here, 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 and so on. So basically with an accent, what we do is we emphasize, we add more bow, we add more bow pressure to give it more of that umph and um, that dance feel with the reel. So um, I'm gonna do it now with the accents, you can, um, tell the difference. So here we go. Time you add an accent that sounds pretty cool. All right, so let's take a little um, break here and come back. I'll do uh, the grace notes in just a second, but I just want to take any questions you guys might have so far. And also, looks like we have a couple people um, that are also on that uh, just popped on. All right, let's come back. Stop. Pause the share. Um, can you guys see me? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Let me uh, let me take some questions. Marianne, you have a question. Can you say something about the origin of this tune because that makes a big difference in how it's played? It sounds Irish to me. It is Irish. Yes, it is. It's uh, Irish real. Thought so. It it sounds like it. it sounds like the butterfly. Yes. In the beginning. Great question. Irish okay, field. so are the suggestions you're making, are those uh, Irish suggestions? Yes. I, kind of more Irish? It doesn't sound like they're old-timey. Yes, they're okay. more Irish suggestions. And do you, um, maybe this isn't a fair question. Um, do you know, like, what kind of, what county? Because <laughs> it makes, I found it makes a huge difference as to where it comes from. If you're sliding, it sounds more like Claire. That's a great question. I, I'm not sure, actually. I'm kind of just putting in my own um, own interpretation, I would say, of it. Okay. Um, but that that is a fair question. I I wish I could um, elaborate on that. Because uh, Claire, the Claire style tends to be more sliding, whereas uh -huh. in the other counties, they're not so much, like Galway or, um, um, uh, yeah, there's, there's just, each section has a different style. That's what you know, mm -hmm. that's what I'm working on is um, learning yeah, the different absolutely. county styles. So, Cool. Yeah, if you have any insights to any of that um, with any of these tunes that we do in any of these classes, I'd love for you to, to provide that. Um, that. It actually might be interesting to talk about some, to do a, maybe a, a webinar in that or something. That Because uh, I've studied that a little bit. Um, I'm trying to learn the, the differences between the different styles because they're very different. We've had um, like fiddle teachers uh, come that are from different areas and they don't sound the same mm -hmm. of Ireland. Yeah. So I Irish music isn't the same. <laughs> it just depends oh, yeah. on who you've got. If you've got Liz Carroll, you've got one style and you know, the different styles. So it, it's, it's an interesting, that, that's what I've been studying is, is uh, the different styles because as a um, primarily classical player, I have struggled with learning how to not sound classical, and that seems to be the key for me anyway. Sure. Yeah, I, I pretty much have, um, I've, I've taken more of the, the basics of, you know, what's typical in a reel, in an Irish reel, in um, you know, different types of tunes, not so much like the, the origin, the country. That's a little bit farther than what I've learned. 
Um, I've done more just understanding of um, the different ornamentations that you can add in and just the flexibility. But yeah, I come from a more classical background. Um, so, you know, other types of teachers are going to kind of come from that other side of things, you know, more where I'm coming more from the technical side and more of the, um, the rule side of things, you know what I mean? Um, so, but yeah, I, I love fiddle playing. I love learning tunes and adding stuff. And I've been a fiddle player in um, a lot of different country bands. I've done a lot of country fiddling and, um, you know, started to branch off and understanding more of, of this stuff. But, um, but yeah, anything that you can add on, um, and you've been coming to a lot of my classes, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, you just uh, quickly, I'm, I'm adding in suggestions of different ornamentation, sliding, um, bowings, you know, like if it's a bluegrass bowing or an Irish bowing or, you know, where accents are, stuff like that, that I've studied. Um, so yeah, anything more that you can add, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I just, I just wondered if, uh, you know, if that's something we were going to cover or, yeah. or if, I don't know, maybe I can even do that as well. But the, uh, if it's the slidey style, tends to be more um, Claire style, I think. Okay. Got it. So there are, there are differences in, in that. I'm still working on that, but uh, it, mm -hmm. it's quite fascinating to hear the different Irish fiddlers and hear how yeah. they play. Yeah, maybe we should collaborate um, before next week's class and just kind of brainstorm and talk about some of the different things that we could um, talk about with, with what you're saying too. Yeah, because that old time style is, is different as well. Then um, there aren't so many slurs. They hardly slur at all, and they don't do in um, pickup notes in up bows. Sure, cool. things like that. It, it's just it's an interesting topic. And since I uh, was struggling so much to not sound classical, I've, I I guess I'm studying that in a left brain way in in a sense. So even though I'm not a left brain person so much. I'm kind of with you there a little bit. I'm I'm in that classical mode, you know, more than the fiddle mode for sure. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to check. Like you said, it might not have been a fair question. So sorry. No, it was. That. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any other questions, comments? Let me bring in um, a couple of the others that are here that are trying to get in. It looks like. Yes. Why? What the circled note? The G. Um. What is that circled for? Oh, um, I was kind of just pointing out um, that commonly it's a good spot to put in slides on a um, on a longer note. So I was kind of just that was the first one I put in the slide on, but I didn't have to circle it. Oh, because it it seems like it'd be hard to slide since the F sharp is so close. That's a good point. Um, you Before, kind of, I, I don't know. I don't have any room to slide. <laughs> yeah, you kind of just pick up the finger uh, r right after the F sharp, and then you kind of just replace it with the two. So, okay. like that. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, one other thing, and I forgot it. I'll forget it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me know. All right. Any others? All right, <clears throat> let me go back to my resume share here. So, um, so yeah, let me add in some, some sort of Irish grace notes. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is put in notes right before a lot of some of the eighth notes and kind of just add in some of that ornamentation. So. <laughs> G right here, right before this E. I'm going to slur that. Add in a um, G grace note here. Right there. So line two.
Is there another one? Here. Grace Notes. Good. So there's some good spots there for uh, for Grace Notes. Cool. And then the other thing we can do is add in turns um, into an Irish piece. So I'm going to do that on some of these notes. So basically what a turn is, is where we do um, up one note, down one note um, from the bass note. So I'm going to kind of write in this corner here. So whatever the note is here, a turn is going to be up one note. Ba, bum, bum, ba, da, dum. Back to the note. So if we do a turn on an E. Like that. So I'm going to add that on some. So I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do one here. And I'm going to do one here. All right, so I got to tell you, yeah, watch that. like that so yeah uh, turns are really nice to add into Irish reels like that so any questions so far on that some of the things I've added in no but I have a stupid question go ahead what key is the tune in please it sounds minor instead of D it's in it's in um, yeah it's not in D it's got two sharps um, but it's actually in a minor key so it'd be I think it's E minor looks like it That's what I was thinking, but there's no way to tell. Like, it looks like it's in D. I, you just have to memorize the relative minor, right? It's in E minor. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yep, E minor. Good, all right, so I'm going to play it up uh, a little bit faster. Fun. I like that. Cool. So yeah, that's the uh, the reel with the bro. What I'll do is I'll add in um this onto YouTube with the link to um, the sheet music and also do a screenshot of what I've already done here so you guys can follow that if you want to um, follow some of my suggestions of the, um, of the tune. Any questions on that so far? Hi Linda, thanks for joining us. How are you? Uh, are you there? You can unmute yourself. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good. Are you uh, looking to learn some fiddle? <clears throat> that was my first uh, reason to learn violin. Oh, okay. Is being able. Excellent. Um, you just popped on. Did you uh, follow some of the suggestions? Yes, I've been. I got in a little late, so I'm I'm trying to catch up. Sounds good. Uh, I will post it on YouTube later, and as well as on the fiddle group. Um, 
so yeah, anything in there if you have questions about with some of the style things. Um, I know not everybody has done all of them, um, but if you, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Great, thank you. Welcome. Marianne, anything to add? It sounds like a good example of the Claire's, I was talking about Claire style, which is what, um, sounds like that's what you're doing with the slides. Sounds like Martin Hayes. Okay. Just a, just a thought. Otherwise, sounds good. Do you play that A with your fourth finger going down the, with the slur? Which one? Uh, the A that you slurred. Um, the A that's in the <laughs> beginning part or later part? In the second measure. Second measure, oh, okay. The A, the slur under the G? Right. Do you play it with your fourth? Because it... it I, I guess if you slur it, you kind of have to, right? Yeah, you should play it with a four, but otherwise you're crossing a string unnecessarily for one note, and you want to avoid that as much as possible. Okay. Yeah, so. Yep, four. Yep. Absolutely. Question. Yeah, anytime that you can avoid string crossings, uh, you definitely want to do that. Cool. All right, well, I will post this on YouTube um, and you guys can plan on, uh, yeah, coming you know, each week at uh, seven o'clock. Um, if you want, give, give me some suggestions on the Facebook page of next week's um, song, Choice. I'd be willing to do anything on there and, and play for you guys and give some suggestions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the class and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put this on YouTube and uh, go from there. So yeah, we're doing another class tonight. Um, uh, Tuesday nights, I'm doing an advanced violin class, and at 9 o'clock, an, an adult's violin class, and even a parent's class, um, trying to help parents out with, um, you know, advice for their kids uh, that play violin. So, yeah, we're doing a lot of classes this evening, and um, hopefully they're, they're helping you guys out. And then also, um, if you guys came live tonight, you guys get um, a code for the contest. I'm going to give you guys that right now. And that allows you to get 100 entries into the contest for um, coming today. So this is the code. Um, the 25 entries, if you watch it um, and recording, you get uh, 25, this is the code for that. It's Fiddle Kaiser. Uh, Fiddle is F-I-D-D-L-E, and then Kaiser is K, as in kite, E as in egg, as in igloo, S as in Sam, E as in egg, R as in rainbow. So Fiddle Kaiser will get you the 25 points. And then here is the code for the 100 points for all you guys that are here. Mary, Marianne, um, Linda, Mary. I'm going to put it into the chat here. Find the chat. i got to expand here. Or... There we go. All right, so this is for you guys. So uh, don't say that out loud, but that's the code for the um, the hundred entries. We'll put them into um, into the contest. Contest is at uh, violinshack.com slash contest. And Marianne is winning the contest right now. By the way, <laughs> she's in first place. She's come to the most classes. She's done the most things. She's getting the most involved. That doesn't mean I'll win, though. So No, but technically you do get a prize if you get the most entries. Oh, okay. That'd be great. So if you didn't know that, then now you do. But yes, um, anybody has a chance to win the bow. So. All right. Any other questions? Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Nice to see you, Mary. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate you. Hope to see you in another class. Yep. We have a great day. Thanks, Val, for coming on. Thanks, Debbie, Linda, Marianne. Thanks, guys. What do you what do you what do you cover in the advanced class? I'm gonna be covering classical violin tips, 
um, more advanced, um, third, fifth, seventh positions, etude work, um, you know, articulation work, um, really just answering anybody's questions that's been playing, you know, in general, um, between eight and 15 years, sort of in that range. Okay. Yeah, that's way above me. <laughs> um, nine o'clock, nine o'clock though, I'm doing, um, the adult violin class. So that's anybody under that experience level and it's pretty general tips and advice, mostly first position stuff. That's that's actually my most popular class. That's at nine o'clock. Last week we had about fifty people in that class. So if you want to come to that, if you're not quite as advanced, um, that I, I give a lot of really good technique advice in that class. Okay, and that's tonight at nine. Tonight at nine. Yep, and you can you can register for any of the classes on my website at violinshack.com/webinar-classes. End of the chat here, so it's webinar-classes. You can always rely on that to register. For any of the six classes I do um, throughout the week and um, and I also have other classes going on too if you want to inquire about some of my um, membership classes I also have going on just send me a message on the website I have other classes um, in the after more in the afternoons and the um, in the uh, um, mornings as well so would you yes go ahead Linda um, would you say that because that's a very advanced group that someone who's not anywhere near there could not pick up. It's really too much, uh, too far advanced for someone, or can you still pick up some things? Is it still um, worthwhile to it's listen? Up to, it's, it's, up to, it's really up to your personality. If you don't get overwhelmed easily, if you like a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. and just a lot of information, um, kind of if you like that vision of all the things you will be doing and, and might inspire you, mm -hmm. I think it could actually be good. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, I, the thing I would I would uh, not want to happen is a um, bunch of people asking, you know, more beginner questions. It'd be more kind of like, of course, yeah, if you're willing to just yeah. um, observe, I think it could be beneficial. Absolutely. OK. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of it might be over your head. Right. right. <laughs> but um, I figured yeah, it gets stored it. somewhere and at some point in the future I'll say, oh yeah, I remember, <laughs> maybe. That's true. Yeah, I, I encourage you to come if you just want to observe and, um, and uh, learn kind of what it will be like to learn at that level. Okay. Great. Thanks. All right. We'll see you guys all very soon. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.